Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Fiona here from FionaMarks.com. And I am so happy to be here with my colleague and fellow apprentice and fellow recent graduate, Fernando Raul Castro. Welcome. Thank you, Fiona. A pleasure to be here. And thank you for inviting me to your channel. Good. And I have invited Fernando here. I'm just giggling because we're only just speaking about this. I we have... just, by the way, we just spoke about an hour. <laughs> exactly. And, well, I, now we're and recording I told Fiona, something. let's let's record. Let's do okay. it. I've invited Fernando. Why I want to spend time with him is because I uh, I think we have a segment here called Mythbusters or busting some myths about Vedic astrology. I've really enjoyed Fernando's work this year in our fourth final year of the apprenticeship. Each video that he's produced has brought to my awareness. Uh, preconceived ideas that people have about Vedic astrology and he's brought in lots of background lots of knowledge and information that I found enlightening that I want to keep learning about so welcome to Mythbusters <laughs> and to begin Mythbusters I wanted to start our stories by I can't help noticing that Fernando and I have a little yin yang thing going on and I I want to invite uh, Fernando to share his story of how he's come to astrology, because I think it may contrast quite greatly to mine, which has been um, to land out of nowhere into Ryan's apprenticeship, which I have faithfully done step by step without any other cross pollination of any other astrological input. Um, and I've come to astrology from uh, an Ayurvedic and life coaching background. So I come very much from that relationship and neuro-linguistic programming, working with people background. And Fernando, can you tell us, how did you arrive at astrology? What drew you there and what was your journey to where you are today? Well, it's, it's, it's more or less, I mean, what, what, what you just said is probably the same way as um, most people get into astrology because astrology is, I like astrology because it, it's really interdisciplinary. I think it's the most interdisciplinary discipline you can do. And at the same time, contrary to what most people believe, it is probably one of the most ancient um, fields of study of, of that human has, that, that, that human kind has. Uh, it was a science for uh, many centuries uh, and it still is to a certain degree. Of course, it is not seen as such by the dominant paradigms today. But those, those two things there uh, are very attractive in terms of, of my persona and how I came into, the, uh, how I came into astrology. Um, you know, everybody knows astrology from horoscopes and all that. So I was exposed to astrology since a very young age. Um, there is a presence of astrology in popular culture and in Latin American uh, culture, pop culture. So, you know, you were exposed to the idea of the 12 signs, the horoscopes and all that. So uh, uh, astrology was always in my life in one way or another, but not, you know, predominantly, you might say. I kind of became more exposed to it uh, by 2010, 2011, more or less. Uh, I wanted to be a professor. Right. That, okay. that was my, my goal. That was my goal in, in college. I wanted to be a professor. I wanted to do my PhD. I wanted to um, I wanted to do a PhD on, on media ecology, like um, the idea of social sciences with communications, with a little bit of history and philosophy. Um, and I had some, you know, I had some experiences in terms of research and, and internships and all that. And uh, I just fell from that because, you know, academic life was not for me. At the same time, the way I, I thought was very different to the way the majority of academia thinks. So I just um, reoriented myself and I, I did other stuff. Um, I, par parallel to that, I've always been uh, in communications, in media and art. Uh, I act, I acted, uh, I had a band, I've been in movies, I've been in commercials. So I, I had that also going on. So there, there came a time where I said, well, how can I combine my, my interest in terms of media, of art, uh, of 
acting, with my interest in history and philosophy uh, on, on, on academia. And, you know, uh, astrology came into my life. And sooner than later, I realized that, you know, astrology is not the cartoon that, that most people are, are meant to believe. Is that correct? No, I don't know if that's the correct that's way to good. say it in English. Yes, yes, okay, yes, thank yes. you. Uh, so I just started with astrology and, you know, basic stuff, the planets, the signs. Uh, little by little, you know, I became more acquainted to it. And, and there came a time in about 2014 that I said, okay, I'm going to do this seriously because I, I want to do it uh, professionally and I think I can do this and I think I have a hack for it. I really like it because of the interdisciplinary nature, the idea of, you know, being in the internet, which today is, you know, an intrinsical part of being an astrologer in terms of your business and, and your persona in terms of how you move um, the science and the art, right? So in 2014, I kind of got into it and you know, before that, you read books, you read the internet, you see videos, you see the Kapil Raj videos, you see um, other videos from other Vedic astrologers, like uh, Sam Jeppi was also one I saw a lot. But there comes a time where books and, and literature, you know, gets you to a level and then you have to look for a, for a teacher. And I started taking classes uh, with Mark Boney, who is an excellent Vedic astrologer, recommend him forever and ever he's probably uh he's he is probably the most prolific western student from k and rao i started uh taking classes with him uh one by one and in that process i also started taking classes with ryan in the apprenticeship program that he just started and i was part of that initial batch we were about 30 back then <laughs> And in the process, I also started doing consultations, but, you know, without charging, right? We were just, you know, exchanges and all that. And I started studying Vedic astrology because I wanted to study traditional astrology. And uh, back then I thought, well, Vedic astrology is the real astrology. You know, Vedic astrology is the real traditional astrology. I, I thought that. I believed that. And I believed that for a while. And, and little by little, you know, uh, I came to know other sort of stuff, right? And uh, by 2017, I, I started my YouTube channel and I started charging and I started my website and I kind of started my professional uh, my professional manifestation as, as an astrologer, right? Uh, before that, I, I did practice, but I really wasn't um, business oriented in terms of charging and all that, but I started there. And, and and for all those who are seeing the video who said, you know, I want to do it professionally. I want to start charging. What I can recommend is just do it. Just just do it, right? There, there's no way. There's no formal way of you knowing you're ready. I would strongly recommend you start doing it by donation, starting doing it with your friends. Uh, obviously, you can't stop learning. That is something that is intrinsic to the uh, profession. And uh, little by little, you know, I created my my channel, which orients toward a Spanish speaking community, the Hispanic community worldwide. And what I started doing is that I started creating high quality Vedic astrology content in Spanish because it was basically non-existent. There were people who were creating, especially uh, a man uh, of Peruvian uh, descent who was called Raman Uyadas. He was, he was actually a pioneer of Vedic astrology videos on YouTube. English or Spanish, he was uploading since 2007, something like that. And I started doing that and um, I started uh, getting more real in terms of, you know, diversifying my um, astrological um, uh, education. And starting 2017, 2018, I, I started just reading a lot. And by that time, you know, I kind of concentrated more on Ryan I had to leave uh, Mark because of, you know, financial obligations I had, which impeded me from, you know, paying those courses. So, uh, but I would strongly recommend him. He was very good, especially with his emphasis on classicism, classicism in terms of how Yotisha is done with, with yoga and all that. Uh, and, I, and I kept with Ryan and, and, and by 2018, 19, more 18 than anything else, I, I started uh, shifting towards tropical astrology 
and that opened the door towards uh, other sorts of astrology, Hellenistic astrology, Persian Arab astrology, and obviously medieval and Renaissance astrology of the European kind. And ever since then, you know, I haven't started, I haven't stopped uh, practicing, I haven't stopped learning. I upload two videos per week religiously since 2017. Actually, my channel is going to be uh, four years old this January. Yay! And, you know, this year I finally ended the course with Ryan, with you. Yes. And and um, I, I ended that. And, and now, you know, let's move to the next thing. And, and that's how I can express uh, my journey. And I've been practicing full time since 2018. Thank God almighty. And I'm really happy because it provides a lot of things that I was looking for in terms of my interests and obviously my autonomy in terms of being my own boss, which, which I see it's, it's something that is very predominant among male astrologers than anything else, that idea of being your own boss, of being the master of your own time. Because in the end, the most important thing in life is time, you know, and, and, and you have to understand that you know, how you're going to spend your time, how you're going to live your time. I mean, and either you're going to be an employee or you're going to be a boss or you can be both. But the, the thing is that, um, you know, working alone for me and my character and my persona is, is very important. And ever since then, you know, I've been teaching people astrology via my YouTube videos, doing interviews, doing conferences, and, you know, I'm very happy where I'm at and I'm very happy to see where it leads me to. That's great, Fernando. It's, it's really good to hear your story and our, our paths are not that different and, and yet they are. So something yeah. to explore in coming videos. Um, but I can really hear in your story this uh, capacity that astrology has to be interdisciplinary, to bring in all of those interests and strengths and to give you the voice. You are the professor and it's of this enormous interdisciplinary field of astrology. So I'm cool. very happy for you and, and cool. congratulations on finding your way through life to this place. I'm still working on it. <laughs> you're, you're, and you're I, well I guess we're way. all doing that. Yeah. You're well on your way. All right. I'm going to sign off here and look forward to catching up with you because already you've touched upon some of the themes that is, which is why I've invited you. You touched upon diversifying. Um, I want to talk to you all about that. And I want to talk to you about as you went through that process from being the student of one methodology or one teacher or one view of astrology, I, want, I really want to hear about uh, as that view became enriched by other astrologies, yeah. what you learned and what you yeah, unlearned, things that you thought yeah. you made sense that didn't. So I think we've got a preview of some of the things to look forward to. For now, let's say goodbye and see each okay. other in the next video. Sure. Take Bye care everyone. and thank you, Fiona.